This project came about because I discovered up and down the country there's these small intimate concerts happening in people's houses and the idea fascinated me so I want to make a documentary about it. I think they started in America house gigs but uh, they're getting more popular over here. Basically it's an artist will come to your house obviously but it, some people say to me oh we've only got a small house that needn't be a problem. We played all over the shop. We played on an allotment in Coventry. We played on a narrow boat. We played on a narrow boat. We played in kitchens. We played in living rooms. We uh, extensions. Know. A laundrette. A laundrette. Well, when I first heard about house gigs, I had visions of me sat on the sofa at home with some poor musician stood in front of me singing away, and it sounded awful. I couldn't think of anything more uncomfortable. She imagined it was us coming around to play to two people in, the, in your front room. And, um, and people are confused, they go house gig. It's basically, it's people coming to your house. No PA, which makes it even more intimate. Well, throughout the documentary, I'm hoping to find out a little bit more about why people put house gigs on, um, what the artists enjoy about them, and how the whole movement got started. I think everybody arrives at a house gig with a smile on their face. It's not, go on then impress me. And it's just a lovely environment, friendly, there's not going to be anybody kicking off or... I don't think anybody's kicked off, have they? No, apart from us two. Apart from us two. I was interviewed for the Liverpool Echo quite recently and they ended up using one of the sound bites I, I said, which was, Wembley Arena, I'd rather play in somebody's kitchen or something like that. But, um, and that, that's, that's how I feel, definitely. I've done it at Wembley Arena, I've been there, done it, found it wanting. Yeah. Give me a house key. Well, I've worked with Henry for about five years now, looking after his website and doing some of his design work. And I knew that he was doing house gigs, so when we came up with this idea, I approached him and asked him if we could follow him around for 12 months and meet some other promoters and see what it's all about. And he said yes. When they asked us, would we get involved in this? Could they follow us around for a year? I'm thinking, God, would you want to follow these two? <laughs> Rats around for a year. <coughs> no, we're up for it. Yeah. I mean, it's great to show what happens to the house gigs. When we first planned it, we were just going to go to house gigs locally in the northwest, but it's become apparent that they happen all over the country. So if we've got some funding, we'll be able to travel further afield. We'll need um, funding for travel, accommodation costs, things like that, and also for time spent away from work to make it happen. Quite a lot in the northwest. Preston, we've got one. Some in Across Wales. To Yorkshire. To uh, Yorkshire, yes. Um, East Riding. East Riding. Um, Huxley House, we've done before doing their Christmas gig, which is great. That's down in Surrey, which I think is going to be filmed. Well, we've got loads of perks available, and um, we can even send Henry and Les round to your house to play a house gig, and we'll include it in the documentary. Um, but also, we need help with just promoting it, so if there's anything you can do to share it on social media and raise awareness of the campaign, that would be great. Mm -hmm.